Hi there everybody, today what I'm going to show you, you how to do is modify your guest account in such a way that when you log out of the guest account and it wipes all the data automatically, some data will stay such as desktop background, customized doc, or whatever. But this is a one time thing, you can do it again, but you have to be an administrator to it to do it. So be logged in as your administrator, I'm the computer administrator, Jonathan Post. Then go to System Preferences, Accounts, Unpadlock it. Authenticate, in other words. Now your password, then go to guest account and say allow guests to log into this computer. After you've checked that, go to login options and check enable fast user switching. Then, you can close out of that. And now what you're going to do is log into your guest account. Go up to Jonathan Post or the text up there. Guest account. Yeah, I sort of found out a little late, but. Um, as you can see, my mic sort of cuts off. So all I'm saying now is make as much changes as you can, your custom changes. I'm deleting items from the dock, and um, continue to make changes. I'm saying that, oh yeah, you don't need Safari, because I'm going to add my own. I'm going to add Firefox, as well as Google Earth. You can see there I add Firefox, and there I add Google Earth. And um, I'm just looking for some more. Didn't find any. OK, close. But hey, those PDFs can go. Trash trash oh and I tried to right click on the trash but it's single click so I need to enable right click because that's always a nice feature so click that mouse keyboard mouse primary button make secondary good now you have a secondary mouse button and now I have right click now now I'm turning on dock magnification because I was like that good you have that <coughs> just closing out of that good so now that you have a uh, dock magnification you're pretty much all set, log back into your admin. After you're in the administrator account again, go to Macintosh hard drive, then to users, then to guest. And as you can see, you're locked out of some by that little negative sign. I'll show you how to change that. But secondly, open Macintosh hard drive again. Move that to the right. We're copying left to right. It's how it works. Just like text cop text writing left to right. It's what my boss taught me. It's a really good tip. Anyways, go to System. Library. Scroll all the way down to User Template. You can see you're also locked out of that. To unlock yourself, right click, Get Info. Unpad lock it. Add a person, add yourself. And say, hey, I have all privileges. Read and write. Cool. Now I can open that. You're going to open it. You're going to go to English Laproj. And you can see that on your right is the same as on your left. So what you're going to do is because the left is our modified settings in our guest account, we need to copy those to our template, which is the one that's restored when you log out. So you're going to copy, uh, hold down, click desktop, then hold down command and click documents, downloads, library. And if you added movies or music, click those. But I um, didn't add anything else, so you can keep all the rest the same. And you're going to hold down command as you drag those over. It will show a little plus symbol on your mouse, meaning it's copying. Let go. Replace, 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 replace. Make you type your password. Boom. Chaka waka 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 waka. View, arrange icons by name. Do that automatically. Good. Now they're saved that way. Saved that way. Magical. So now what you're going to do is because our settings are redone, go to your guest account again. Okay, so now that you're back in your guest account, what you're going to do is, hey, look, all my changes are there, but now comes the real test. So, log out. It will say, hey, you're going to be deleting all your data. Are you sure? Yep, log out. Good, so now you've logged out. Now log back in. Look it again. Log it in. Oh, burn, look at that. Oh, all of it's, all of it's exactly what we wanted it to be. So, it worked, and now your guest account default is that, as well as any other account that you would create in the future. So now you can go back to your main admin, and uh, yeah. And I hope you all have a very good day. Talk to you later. Bye.